What's up everyone, this is Cybernad8610, and today I got another box from Bayi, almost knocked over the whole table, but look at this! <laughs> like seriously, it's actually pretty heavy too! I don't know exactly how much, um, like I ordered from it, or like how much it weighs, or whatever, but, uh, yeah, I know I got a lot of really cool stuff this time, so be sure to check out Bayi if you haven't already, if you're wondering what is Bayi and all that. Basically, it's a service I've used now for, I want to say at least a couple of years, and it makes it easy to buy stuff from Japan like you live in Japan is the best way to put it. So if you're looking like for video games from Japan, which I've seen a lot of really cool stuff on that, even like some older Game Boys I've thought about buying to like redo. Uh, anime figures, of course, they get stuff before us and uh, it's actually a lot cheaper. I think right now, um, I don't know exactly how this works. So, you know, I, I didn't take a lot of like economics or whatever, but I believe that the US dollar is worth more than the yen so actually a lot of stuff is really cheap right now to order through japan like things are much better deal right now and uh yeah so check it out like for example i heard some people talking about how you know how they have that pokemon special like classic set that's coming out i think on the official pokemon website for us like the pokemon center um, it's gonna be like a $400 product, and I heard some people were buying the Japanese version, which, yeah, still have Japanese cards, but you get, like, the whole setup and all that, and I think they were saying it was, like, $250 or something. So that's what I heard some people talking about. It's that way with a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff as well. Yu-Gi-Oh boxes, like Japanese boxes are pretty cheap. Anyway, check out Bai. You won't regret it. It's great, especially with the holidays coming up too. And honestly, it feels like Christmas every time I open up one of these. So seriously, uh, use my link down in the description. You also get 1,000 yen on that as well if you use my link. And it does help support the channel. So I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, here we go. I actually picked up more of these. I did like a, I think on Instagram I showed these, but these are the Haichu promos that you can get. Some of them are Rush Duel, some are Yu-Gi-Oh. Basically, they are altar arts. They almost look like two versions of different cards. So you got like the whole set of Dark Paladin. Uh, Marshmallow is just also in there. And then you have like Gaia as well. And that's the Rush Duel versions are for Gaia. Like Curse of Dragon, you get Gaia the Fierce Knight. And then, of course, uh, the Dragon Champion. So these are really cool. And, uh, again, like in English or, uh, not in English, but like on regular eBay, like the US eBay, I guess, or whatever, I see these go for insane prices. I think I paid like 12 bucks. I mean, it wasn't much at all. Like seriously, that, you can't pass that up. That's the whole set too. So yeah, I guess I got a bunch more packs. I wonder, <laughs> Restal set. Well, we have like a stack of them. I wonder if they, like, decided not to put them in a box. Sometimes you have to read, too, on there. Like, there are some sellers that will literally take it out of the box, so then it saves them shipping. I usually don't go for those sellers. I wonder if this was just, like, a good deal or something, and I wanted to see. So, yeah, basically, remember those Yu-Gi-Oh! chips I opened up before, the Calbee chips? Well, somebody had a bunch of the, the promo packs from them. They, you know, like, each bag, like, mini, like, fun size, I guess, really, bag of chips had, like, a booster pack. And you could get a lot of older cards... Uh, like in the hieroglyphic rare, we can see the hieroglyphics. They even had some like uh, specific like potato themed cards. There was like three different ones. And uh, yeah, we opened those up. It's been quite a long time ago. And uh, this person had a bunch of promos and stuff. So I figured that could be a video where we open these up and see what we can get. It looks like too, they might have included a few just random booster packs here. I unfortunately can't read Japanese, but it looks like they even left me a little note right there. So maybe that's saying something about these couple of Rush Duel packs. So Thank you to them. I mean, if there's any way they would possibly see this video, thank you. Uh, what else we got? Oh, it looks like more promo packs actually here. These, I think, were like tournament packs or something. The 2023 20, Volume 3. So, yeah. So, I, again, just more promo packs I want to open up. Maybe we'll sell some of these in the live stream and stuff, too. But, yeah, I just got, like, all of these. I don't even know how many. It looks like maybe 20 or 30. Probably 20. I don't know. I'm not counting through them right now. <laughs> I'm not going to waste your time, but yeah, that is, again, really cool. I I like seeing, you know, just the different stuff they get that we won't get. You know, we never got those potato cards. We, I'm sure we'll never get this promotion with Gaia. We don't get Rush Duel, <laughs> you know? So it, it kind of goes from there. And also, oh yeah, I picked up some card sleeves. I thought you guys might like them on the live streams where we have some of these fusion card sleeves. These are really nice. So I got like basically, I guess, four packs of those. They have some for like Synchro Summoning, Pendulum, XC, all of it too. So kind of depends on whatever deck you're running and get the sleeves that match it. 
I really like it. Uh, they're cool looking in the back. Simple, but really cool. Oh, okay. I remember this. Uh, yeah, they sent me some like random like cards to kind of protect the cards. Sometimes they do that instead of top loaders, which actually, again, I hadn't had trouble. But then we also got a starlight right here of the new Black Luster Soldier. This is the one, of course, that's in Maze of Memories for us. Uh, we have it as a collector's rare, of course, but we never got it as like this starlight. So yeah, I got it for, I think, like a few bucks, basically, and I love Black Luster Soldier. So I picked it up. Again, you can get like a lot of different like Yu-Gi-Oh singles and get them pretty cheap too. Then even more sleeves. These are the Synchro ones. Okay, I forgot I actually got some of the Synchro. So yeah, here's the design. And yeah, we'll have a bunch of these sleeves as well. Yeah, I think they're yeah just four of Synchro. So those are cool too. Also got some more of those promos, as you can see. The more of the, like the Gaia ones and all that. Yeah. So I, I couldn't help myself, dude. They were so cheap. I had to get multiple copies. I even got one of these little like special two packs. It's almost the equivalent of a special edition for Japan. So you get like a little promo card, which actually has a scapegoat token. You can see it right there, but you get two packs instead of three. So uh, yeah, with uh, Strike of Neos, I wanted to see if we could get the forbidden card, get the Air Neos from this. So that will probably be like a little like reel or, you know, YouTube short or something, you know? All right, this is probably gonna be the title of the video. I'm kind of surprised they sent it this way, okay? I actually ended up picking up a prize card, like an actual Yu-Gi-Oh prize card. All right, here you go. It is Skyfaring Castle of the Black Forest. So yes, I actually picked this up. It's in English. I want to say it was about half the price of the, the ones I saw on eBay, you know, just regular eBay. And I, I couldn't say no. Like I've never really had like a prize card. And I know it's not like, I don't think it's like one of the biggest prize cards, but it's still something, right? And I always really like the art. It even comes with the field center on the back here. And it's actually in English. So yeah, that is amazing. We'll have to see what else I got, but that's one of the main things I got right there. Also, I've been opening a lot of these actually, um, like especially on Instagram. I've been posting uh, different reels, opening up these little token packs that you get from Japan. This is actually the newest one. Lately, we've been opening up the yellow one, which I believe is, I think it's volume four, because this is volume five. And basically they have all these different tokens and stuff. And if you want to check them out, be sure to check out my Instagram. I don't do the whole selfie thing or whatever. I'm, I'm not proud of how I look anyway. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. But if you want to see some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, of course, Check me out on Instagram. It's been a lot of fun, and I like doing some small openings, so I'm sure these will get opened up over there, okay? Okay, I wanted to give myself a little bit of a challenge, so this is going to be another little, like, mini video series or something we're going to do. All right, and I think you guys will enjoy it. I went on ahead, and I picked up a bunch of these overrush sets, like boxes, to open up. And yes, it's Rush Duel, but look on the front. It has an Overrush Rare Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I got like six of the boxes, I believe, right here. I don't even know if that's all I got. I might have more uh, in the big box itself. But I want that Overrush Rare Blue Eyes, which is essentially a full art Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's a very expensive card, and I want to pull one. So that's going to be our goal. I think you are guaranteed to get one Overrush Rare Per box, but I thought that might be a fun little uh, challenge for us. So I got a bunch of those here. That'll probably be all like one big video. So if you guys are looking forward to that. Well, I had to get this because it was actually cheap. They have a towel that you can buy. They have several, I think there's like three different like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't remember like all the different choices, but this one, you'll, you'll know which one it is when I open it up because I got to unfold it for you guys. I don't think I'd ever use this because it's so cool. <laughs> And it's kind of thin, but we got Rekeki. <laughs> I had to get the Rekeki towel. So yeah, that is awesome. I think the others was, I, I want to say it was like Dark Hole and Monster Reborn. I think they were all Legend of Blue Eyes, basically. Oh, and here we go. Here's your boy. They have some of these Monster Chronicles figures. And yeah, there's actually one of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So if, if I didn't have enough Blue Eyes White Dragons, I needed another one, right? So this will probably be a reel or something too. Again, YouTube short, just follow me on everything. Mainly Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube are the places if you want to see content, that's where you're going to get content, okay? Of course, here is Red Eyes. I, I gotta get Red Eyes. Dude, that's my favorite monster. So 
you can have enough there. I do think it's funny though that it's Insect Queen, Red Eyes and Blue Eyes. It's not actually like Dark Magician, you know, it's not always Dark Magician this time. We actually got the Quarter Century Wing Dragon of Raw playmat. So yes, this is a special playmat that has come out finally. Um, it's been about two or three years, something. I think it was actually closer to the 20th anniversary, so it's probably been about five years, where basically Obelisk and Slifer had one of these. Well, Raw finally got one, basically, okay? So you get a quarter century version of Raw, the newest artwork, you get a playmat that matches it, we'll, we'll do a video on this, and you also get a coin. And yeah, there you go. I believe that is everything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, yeah, getting that prize card, though, I think is really cool. I might actually see about getting this graded. I don't know. Should I open this and get it graded? Or should I just keep it sealed like this? And like maybe put it in like some kind of acrylic case? So let me know, you you guys out there especially that have something like this. Like what, what would you do with it? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having a good day. And of course, uh, like, subscribe, all that. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.